Dr. Kaku, I am very excited to talk about this. Uh, the discovery of an Earth-like planet a mere 4.2 million light years away. Uh, how big of a deal is this? This is a game changer because astronomers have hit the jackpot. This is their dream come true. A new chapter in astronomy has opened up. Now, the holy grail of astronomy is to find the closest Earth-like twin, a doppelganger in outer space. And now we've nailed it. After looking at 4,000 extrasolar planets, we finally found the closest one that looks very similar to the planet Earth, we think. There's a planet hidden in the shadow of a dying star, just four light years from Earth. Some believe it could be humanity's next home. Others think it holds secrets we were never meant to uncover. Proxima Centauri B might have water. It might even have life. But landing there could kill you. What's really waiting for us on the closest exoplanet to Earth? Imagine standing on Earth and looking out into the endless black ocean of space, just beyond what the naked eye can see. Four light years away floats a distant world, Proxima Centauri B, is the closest known exoplanet to our Earth. Science scientists have been studying the universe for years, trying to find some indication of other worldly life out there. Well, a new discovery has many buzzing about the possibilities of just that. An Earth-like planet has been found, and in space terms, it's basically just next door. Stephanie Mercier is looking into that for us and has more to tell us about our neighbors. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, this new planet is called Proxima b, and that's because it was found orbiting the star known as Proxima Centauri, which in space terms is basically just next door. It's the star next to our sun. NASA has discovered a super Earth that could have conditions to sustain life. The new exoplanet is 137 light years away, or about roughly 800 trillion miles. Astronomers say the planet is about one and a half times the size of Earth and orbits a small reddish star that is cooler than our sun. NASA says because the super Earth orbits such a short distance from that star, a year for that planet is equal to just 19 days on Earth. To put that in perspective, if space were a map of the entire Earth, Proxima b would be just across the street. But in reality, it's 40 trillion kilometers away. With current technology, it would take a human spacecraft over 70,000 years to reach it. And yet it's moving closer. The entire Proxima Centauri system is slowly drifting toward us. In 30,000 years, it will be our closest cosmic neighbor, but nothing lasts forever. Eventually, it will drift away, replaced by another colder, lonelier star. For now though, Proxima Centauri b is the best chance we have to glimpse another Earth, if we're brave enough to go looking. To understand Proxima Centauri b, we have to look at the family it belongs to. It's part of a system of not just one star, but three, a gravitational dance happening light years away, known as the Alpha Centauri system. Two of these stars, Alpha Centauri and B, orbit each other in a tight blazing spiral, like celestial partners locked in a never-ending waltz. But then lurking in the distance, there's a third, fainter, colder, smaller Proxima Centauri. It's not just an outsider, it's the one holding a secret. The only one with a known planet, that planet is Proxima Centauri b. And while the other two stars burn bright, Proxima glows with a quiet, eerie red. It's easy to overlook, but maybe that's the point. Sometimes the most unassuming places hide the greatest mysteries. After traveling across the void of space for decades, maybe centuries, you finally arrive, orbiting above a foreign world just slightly larger than Earth, you prepare to descend. The planet looks calm from above. A muted surface, a dull red glow from its star. No swirling storms, no glowing cities, no signs of life, just silence. But don't be fooled. This is uncharted territory. No human has ever set foot here. As the landing gear unfolds and your craft begins to descend through a thin atmosphere, or maybe no atmosphere at all, every sensor lights up with warning signals. Radiation levels spike. 
the heat shield groans. The surface temperature flickers between freezing and scorching. You touch down, the soil is dry. Brutal, alien, and in that moment, one thing becomes clear. You're not on Earth anymore. And this place, it wasn't made for you. Proxima Centauri B sits in what scientists call the habitable zone, the perfect distance from its star where liquid water could exist. But here's the truth most headlines leave out. Just because it's in the habitable zone doesn't mean it's habitable. It's like saying a house is in a good neighborhood, but forgetting to check if it has a roof, running water, or a floor. We don't even know if this planet has an atmosphere. We don't know if it has oceans, lakes, or just endless rock and radiation. On paper, it might be Earth-like. In reality, it could be far more hostile than Mars. So the question isn't just, could we live there? It's, would we even survive the first day? At the heart of this mysterious planetary system lies Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf, the smallest and faintest type of star in our galaxy. Unlike our sun, Proxima doesn't shine brightly. It glows quietly, almost like a dying ember floating in space. But don't let its dim light fool you. Proxima may be small, but it's ancient and relentless. It burns its fuel slowly, efficiently, giving it a lifespan not of billions, but trillions of years. That means long after our sun swells into a red giant and swallows Earth whole, Proxima Centauri will still be glowing in the dark, a cold red beacon in the void. But with that longevity comes instability. Because beneath its calm surface, Proxima hides a violent secret, one that could make life on its planets nearly impossible. Here's the terrifying truth about red dwarfs, like Proxima Centauri. They don't just flare up, they explode without warning. Proxima can release massive bursts of radiation solar flares so intense they'd make our sun look tame. In Proxima Centauri bid, it's caught in the crossfire because the planet orbits very close to its star. Closer than Mercury is to the Sun, just to receive enough warmth to stay in the so-called habitable zone. But that closeness comes at a deadly cost. These flares unleash waves of ultraviolet and X-ray radiation strong enough to tear through an atmosphere and through living tissue. If you're standing on the surface during one of these outbursts, there's no hiding, no shield, no warning, just a flash and then silence. The kind of silence that comes when a planet loses its air, its water, and any hope for life. To survive on any planet, you need one thing above all else, an atmosphere, something to breathe. And we think that this planet is right to in the habitable you. zone. But on Proxima Centauri B, we're not even sure it has one. Scientists have tried to simulate what might be there. Maybe a thin veil of carbon dioxide, a trace of methane, hints of nitrogen. But these aren't facts, just guesses. And with those deadly flares constantly hammering the planet, any atmosphere it once had could already be gone. Stripped away atom by atom. Without that protective blanket, heat escapes. Radiation gets in. Water can't stay liquid, and every breath you take would be your last. On Earth, we take the air for granted. On Proxima Centauri B, just having air might be a luxury it never knew. Now imagine this, a planet where time has stopped. One side is forever bathed in scorching daylight. The other, locked in endless frozen night. That's Proxima Centauri B, because it's tidally locked. It shows only one face to its star, just like the moon does to Earth. That means there's no sunrise, no sunset, no changing of seasons, just two extremes. A day where temperatures could boil your blood and a night side so cold your breath would freeze midair. No wind to mix the temperatures, no weather systems to balance the chaos. It's a split world half fire, half ice. So if life ever found a way there, it would need to adapt to conditions we can barely imagine, or it would have to hide somewhere in between. Between the fire and the ice, there's a line 
a razor-thin boundary where eternal day meets endless night. Scientists call it the Terminator Zone. It's not science fiction, it's a real region on tidally locked planets like Proxima Centauri b. Here, temperatures might be just right, not too hot, not too cold, a twilight world wrapped in soft shadows where water could exist and maybe just maybe life too. If there's anywhere on this planet you could survive, even for a moment, it would be there. But even this narrow sliver of hope comes with risks. Violent winds could whip across the border of light and dark. Radiation still rains from the skies, and the planet's thin or broken atmosphere might not offer any protection at all. The Terminator Zone might be the most habitable place on Proxima Centauri b, but that doesn't mean it's safe. We live in an age where we can study planets light years away without ever leaving Earth. One of the most powerful tools we have is called transit spectroscopy. When a planet passes in front of its star, some of the starlight filters through its atmosphere. That light carries clues, fingerprints of gases, like oxygen, methane, carbon dioxide. From those signals, we can learn if a planet has clouds or even signs of life. But there's one big problem. Proxima Centauri b doesn't transit its star from our point of view. It never passes in front of the light, which means we can't analyze its atmosphere this way. It's like standing outside a closed door knowing something is inside but never being able to peek through the keyhole. For now, Proxima b keeps its secrets well hidden, and all we can do is guess. Despite everything, the radiation, the extreme temperatures, the atmosphere, or lack of it, there's still one reason scientists can't look away from Proxima Centauri b. The water? If the planet has an atmosphere, even a thin one, temperatures on the surface could reach a comfortable 30 dc. C. Enough for liquid water to exist. And where there's water, there could be life. Not civilizations, not aliens with cities in the clouds, but maybe microbes, simple, ancient organisms clinging to the shadows of the Terminator Zone, surviving in silence for billions of years. And if life found a way there on a planet so harsh, so unforgiving, then maybe, just maybe, life is far more common in the universe than we ever imagined. But without a clear view, without a signal, we're left with a question that echoes through the stars. Is anyone really out there? Proxima Centauri b is the closest known exoplanet to Earth, and yet it remains a complete mystery, a world locked between light and darkness, battered by radiation, cloaked, perhaps, in a fragile, fading atmosphere. But it's also a symbol, a reminder that somewhere out there, other worlds may exist. Unlivable today, maybe. But what about tomorrow? Could we one day terraform it, survive there, call it home? Or should we be afraid of what we might find? Because in a universe, this vast silence can be louder than any signal. In Proxima Centauri b, it hasn't spoken yet.